Hello there, my beautiful Pisces friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. Then I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck and an angel number for you as well. So those of you that have been seeing any kind of animals, insects, repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, let's pull some cards and see what spirit would like you to know today. Pisces, so we've got two cards that have fallen out. So I'm going to go ahead and use them for you. So we've got the justice card. So there's something that is happening in your life that is going to uh, really shift things. Okay, this is a very powerful energy and I feel that there's a big decision that some of you are making around um, something specific in your life. Now this is a major arcana card. This energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are feeling this intensely and others you are feeling this subtly. All right, so I feel there's a lot of weighing options before you make this decision, whatever this big decision is in your life here. Um, Pisces, we also have the Ace of Cups. This decision, I feel whatever this is that's happening here uh, with the Justice card, because this could be court related, this could be paperwork, this could be whatever it is. I feel there's almost like a legal thing going on here for some of you. This is going to open up a new beginning for you where your cup is going to overflow. This is where your heart is singing, my friends. So I feel that whatever this path is that is opening up for you, there's going to be a lot of love uh, coming through here, okay? Now, what I want you to do, Pisces, is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up, I want you to try to interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages, all right? So we've got the Ace of Cups coming through and the Five of Pentacles. So there may have been some temporary hardship or you're feeling like you're going through some sort of a challenge, some sort of a struggle right now. Okay, and I feel this may be um, due to the Justice card being present in your reading. So this just lets me know that there are some big changes coming into your lives here, Pisces. So get ready for them. Spirit Guides are really wanting you to tap into your inner strength here. You are going to push through this. Things are going to work in your favor here. I want you to know that today. Okay, so Five of Pentacles. Give me a moment while I take a look at your cards and see what my intuition is drawing in today. Now, I also wanted to remind everyone, we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. And this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. So those of you watching today, if this reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. All right, so we've got the Justice card. We have the Five of Pentacles. So if you've been seeing the number one or the number five in your life right now, if they're repeating numbers that you're seeing, they just keep coming up. This is Spirit Guides calling you to embody the energy of the life path number one and the life path number five. The first of the month and the fifth of the month are also going to be very important for you. Setting intentions, creating some sort of a sacred ritual on those dates are also going to help. We've got some magic intention candles here that my sister-in-law Katomi makes. So any of you interested in purchasing these for those intentions right around that sacred ritual, the link is in the description box below for you. All right, so the justice card big decisions here. Um, I feel also with this card that maybe there has been some sort of truth that was revealed, something that has come up. Maybe someone told you something, you found something out, whatever this is, it's really creating a little bit of friction in your life, a little bit of worry, some stress, right? Um, maybe you're feeling like things aren't working out for you because this thing has come up. That's why we're getting the five of pentacles here. Um, Spirit Gods are really wanting you to know that 
If you tap into your inner strength at this time, Pisces, really um, stand your ground, stand firmly in your truth. You're going to see things unfold as they're meant to. And sometimes we tend to not look at the bigger picture of what is going on, um, of whatever is happening in your life. And spirit guides want you to kind of pull back just a little bit here. Um, and think things through. So I'm not sure why they're saying this to some of you because anytime I have any kind of thing, I go steamrolling right ahead. But they're really wanting some of you to kind of take a step back for a second and look at the bigger picture before you make any kind of decisions or rush into any kind of conclusions in your life around whatever is going on. Now, this could be a court case. This could be something legal. This could be some documentation. This could be something to do with governments, right? Or to do with something that you signed off on. This could be like HR, employment, whatever this is. I feel there's some paperwork tied to this. There's some sort of... Um, up, like dates set so I don't know if these are on the first or the fifth of the month for some of you but I feel that their justice is going to be served here so spirit guides are showing me that in my mind right now they're showing me a court and they're saying justice is being served and I feel karma is going to take care of everything here for you so those of you that are watching that are going through something that is really difficult especially around I don't know if this is a divorce if this has to do with um child support or children or if this has to do with employment maybe this has to do with some sort of disability like insurance or something like that maybe this has to do with some sort of um, government paperwork whatever this is i feel that it is it is going to work in your favor if for any reason it doesn't pisces there's a bigger reason behind why it didn't okay and normally when these kind of things don't work in our favor these are blessings in disguise because there's something much bigger that we're not seeing um that we're meant to all it's almost like they're protecting us okay they're saying that they're protecting you all right so i do feel um karma is at play here um judgment is or justice is going to be served and i'm getting the judgment card coming in there's some sort of um awakening or some sort of a truth that is being revealed through this some something that is um really uh opening up this profound um beginning which is showing up here already through the ace of cups but i feel that some of you are going to be freed for some you're going to be set free from something i don't know what this is it this is for you but they're showing me some like they're showing me a black stallion uh running free here wild with the hair kind of going like it's been set free so i don't know if any of you are going through something where you have been feeling like you've been stuck somewhere or there's been restrictions or limitations on you but you're going to be set free here through this process of the justice card i also feel that some of you are making some sort of a big decision around something new um, possibly following your passions um, maybe starting a new job because you might be feeling like um, there is some instability in your life right now with your income with your finances some sort of hardships or struggles that you're going through right now where you need to make a big decision around that okay and i feel by you being resourceful by you taking action by you getting into motion and um um, really figuring out a way out of whatever it is that you're going through right now because you have the power here Pisces spirit guides want you to know that you have the power to get yourself out of anything and you're going to experience the six of pentacles is what they're showing me now things are going to turn out for the better for you okay so remember that anytime I pull, pull the five of pentacles it's always a temporary call a card and it could be a temporary period that you're feeling that may feel like bad luck right but you can always re reverse that so I really want you to understand so they're really wanting me to talk about this card right now before I start with the ace of cups so the five of pentacles is um you know it's all about um this in numerology the number five is um, conflict it has to do with change it has to do with instability chaos challenges right obstacles all of that so some of you may be experiencing these and they may be um, subtle for some of you and intense for others but know on the other side of this you are going to receive the blessings and I do feel for some of you whatever is going on in your life right now especially if you're going through this 
temporary period of hardship, you're acquiring, you're learning something through this process. So I, I want you to look at it in that sense because you're going to overcome this. And what spirit guides want to remind you here of is Pisces, all the challenges and struggles you have already overcome in your life experience, okay? So if you're somebody that is watching today, you've gone through many, there's reasons for that. The ones that you've already overcome, you have acquired superpowers. You become a stronger version of yourself. This is exactly the same thing, but it's in a different form. So know that you are somebody that is capable of overcoming this. You have the inner strength, you have superpowers that you have acquired over your life experience to get through anything. So know that you are much stronger than you know. I'm getting the strength card coming in as well. So um, they're really wanting you, they're saying unleash the beast here, okay? So unleash the beast. Listen to your intuition. You're highly intuitive, Pisces. Listen for those signs. Heighten your awareness, your sen senses as well because you're going to receive guidance from the universe, okay? This is gonna come in the form of animals, insects, numbers. This could be words. I, I feel some of you have been asking for signs from the universe. You've been asking for something. That is coming in if it already hasn't. So what spirit guides want you to do, again, is heighten your senses. They're sending you information. So perhaps you ask for something, right? And they're giving you answers through music, something that is resonating for you. Maybe it's on a billboard, on a, a license plate. Perhaps someone is talking and they you receive an answer just from walking down the street and hearing someone someone talking and it resonating for you okay it could be a conversation that you're having with someone as well so there's many ways that these confirmations can come in and they're showing me blessings disguised as something else so you're not you know this is why um because the recognition of these blessings may not be happening for some of you because there is this almost this lens of uh, scarcity on right now. So what they want you to do is look at all the good things that are happening in your life right now, Pisces, and don't focus on the negative things, the things that aren't working out. Don't give that any energy. Focus on the things that are working for you. All right. And you're going to see more of that coming in that uh, positive um, mindset. I have a 14 day mindset challenge ebook. Any of you interested, it, the link is in the description box below. This will help you with that mindset shift. But I feel that if you shift your mindset, you're going to start seeing and noticing some of these blessings in disguise, okay? So that's coming through for you. Now the Ace of Cups. So there's a new beginning coming in. Like this is gonna be really big for some of you and your heart is going to be singing. You're going to be overflowing with love and gratitude when this comes in. This is a new path for you. This is a new door opening, okay? It's all about recognizing this when it does come in because I feel for some of you this hasn't come in yet, but it is coming in in the next two weeks here, okay? So be aware and mindful of your surroundings. It's not about looking around obsessively looking for it. You're just going to recognize it when it comes through. It's all about just being aware and being open and receptive to everything that the universe is sending you. This could be a stranger that comes in and shares something with you or tells you something or gives you something that opens a door, opens a path for you. Okay. I also feel that some of you are going to make some connections in some way here. I'm getting this almost like a, a love energy, a romantic energy coming in. So I'm getting a soul soulmate energy coming in for some of you. Those of you that have been manifesting a soulmate, this soulmate is coming in. Maybe that's what the struggle is. Maybe the five of pentacles for some of you is um, you're having a hard time finding love or you're just having a hard Hard time connecting with somebody that connection is coming in okay maybe you've made a decision somewhere in your life to really look at relationships differently five languages of love by gary chapman is a great book to read which will uh let you where you can discover what your love language is and what it is that you need from a partner right so many ways that these cards can represent themselves in our lives so if any of you uh, would like to share with all of us here on this channel in the comment section below what these cards mean for you um, that would be great. I would love to hear that. So this Ace of Cups energy, this beautiful energy of love and gratitude and just happiness, 
This is that emotional satisfaction and fulfillment that some of you have been seeking that is coming towards you. This is coming in a very big way here. So I feel that maybe someone is going to help you in some way. There's going to be some sort of support or assistance for some of you as well right in some form this could be financial right maybe someone is going to lend you some money maybe you're going to win like 20 bucks on a scratch and win or maybe um, you're going to have a loan approved maybe you're going to receive money out of nowhere you weren't expecting it it's going to show up or you're going to have somebody assist you or support you in some way this could be moral support this could be someone saying hey if you need a couch to sleep on i've got a couch here or you can stay with me for a little while while you're going through whatever it is that you're going through, right? So I do feel there is something really beautiful coming into your life here, which is going to open this new path for you. And I'm getting this feeling of a spiritual awakening happening for some of you as well. And I'm getting this through the Justice card flowing into the Ace of Cups today. So I don't know if any of you know of, um, th these are the two names that are coming up right now, Melissa and Jessica. Is there a Melissa or a Jessica watching today? I don't know if any of you have friends that are a Melissa and Jessica. I don't know why your names are coming up today, but they wanted me to say your names on my channel today. So I don't know if there's some sort of a blessing or a new beginning coming into your life where uh, something is going to touch your heart in a very, very big way. And I feel this is for everyone watching today. Um, manifestations. Have any of you tried to manifest something into your life? Because I feel this is also tied to some sort of a manifestation where you're going to be overflowing with joy when you see this come in when this comes into formation okay you're going to see this coming in and you're going to know so recently my husband and I went and visited Toronto and when we arrived to our hotel there they gave us room number 1111 and my husband's like did you ask for this number and I was like no they just gave us this number so we had a lot of synchronicities happening in Toronto right that overflow of joy and when we're heading home on the airplane, I was saying to my husband before we actually even left, I was like, you know, maybe we should upgrade our seats because I'd like to be comfortable. I don't like the uncomfortable flight. And as we were sitting and waiting for our flight, the attendant there comes up to my husband and says, hey, let me take a look at your ticket. She tears it up and she upgrades our flight for free. So we're in these comfortable seats now. We've got all this free food, all of these beautiful, like it was just so beautiful. It was the Ace of, a, of Cups experience. So this is how it works. Sometimes the universe just kind of works this magic and just by me visualizing that and speaking it, thinking about it, it came into fruition. So this is how the universe works here, Pisces. So those of you that are watching today, there's some sort of an experience you're going to experience that is going to overjoy you. So get ready for that. And you're going to feel this in the next two to three weeks here, okay? So again, they're telling me, um, Jessica or Melissa I don't know what's going on in your lives right now but I feel there's something coming towards you here those of you that are watching all right so I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you Pisces this is a spirit animal oracle deck those of you that have been seeing any kind of animals insects in your life you've been getting signs from the universe this is going to give you your confirmation today and guidance all right so we are getting elephant spirit have any of you seen an elephant recently learn from the past okay this is coming up for you so if you've seen an elephant this is your confirmation if you haven't seen one you're seeing one now on your screen learn from the past here my friends we talked about this number 25 is on this card so there may be some significance around the number 25 for some of you perhaps this is a birth date this could be a special date for some of you to create some sort of a uh, sacred ritual, set an intention with a magic intention candle. Two plus five is seven. So life path number seven, spirit guides are calling you to embody the energy of the life path number seven. Pisces, I'm getting an Aquarius energy coming through. This could be a cusp energy. Maybe it's tied to somebody with the elephant spirit here or let's read this card. It has to do maybe somebody from the past that is gonna come help you here. Pisces, that's an Aquarius energy. So let me take a look here and see where the elephant spirit is. All right. So although we often wish we could leave the past behind, Elephant Spirit reminds us that memories matter. We must respect the wisdom of the elders who hand down to us traditions they have shaped to express our connection to each other and respect, the, for, respect for the community. 
What has come before informs the we, what we are experiencing today and we must never forget our legacy of strength and dignity. Elephant Spirit appears with a message that we are to acknowledge that which came before and learn from it. We talked about this as well, right? Learning from our past experiences. All of us are memory-based creatures and we must revisit the past to understand where we are and where we are going. The stories or events you experience, the stories in our collective memory and the stories of relationships you have had can be told many ways. What story will you tell today, Pisces? Elephant Spirit is here to encourage you to make it one that stirs in you a sense of power and dignity for you have honored yourself by choosing to learn from your past. Spirit rejoices as your willingness to learn and grow. So look at that. Elephant Spirit here for you. Pisces, I love this card. It's such a beautiful card. What a beautiful message for you today. All right, so let's pull an angel number for you as well. So some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. And you can also use this as an affirmation. All right, so we are getting the number seven. I am brilliant. Two plus five is seven. So we had that coming up in this card as well. So know that you, my friends, are brilliant. Let me read you the message on this card. You possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. So look at you go, Pisces. That is a superpower. Use it, my friends. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.